Hi guys, welcome back. I am Stu and on today's video, I'm going to be showing you what happens when you complete the 95 base scenarios on Rollercoaster Tycoon Classic. So you unlock a park called Tycoon Park. You've already seen a lot of it because it's actually the park that displays in the background now. So as you can see on the right hand side, I've also got the toolkit and the expansion packs as well. So I will be doing videos on those now that we've completed the regular ones. So in the background now these rides these are all in the the bonus park that is unlocked when you complete the scenario so let's go in start a new park so as you can see it completed all the scenarios and when you do it unlocks this new tier with tycoon park so and the objective is have fun so let's start that up There you go, Tycoon Park, have fun. It's got 7,000 guests and the rating is up on maximum as well. So let's have a look. We start off within like a Halloween sort of spooky themed area. Here we've got, what's this, Calamity Cliffs. High excitement on that. It's a flawless roller coaster. On the top then we've got a haunted house and we've got an elevator. Um, we've got a a wooden wild mine ride just down by here got excitement on that one as well let's have a look at the wider area then we've got a huge go-karts by the looks of it yeah huge excitement on that um we've got a monorail two different types of monorail suspended on a, on a regular type um what's this this is a Haunted Mansion ride. Got excitement on that, to be honest. Is this the same one? Yep. Wow, it's big. 3,000 feet. Fair play. Some of my roller coasters are only get to around half of that. Speaking of which, just behind that, there's a little, little shuttle coaster. So it's got a bend, so I wouldn't be surprised if the intensity is fairly high. Yeah. Quite nice theme in as well. I mean, it's, it's very basic, but I mean, it looks it looks pretty good. Just over here, then, what we got? Air powered coaster. High excitement on that. Are all three of these towers part of it? Let's have a look at the length. Yeah, they must be. Wow. Um, and what's the scent? What's what's that one we've just seen? Gateway, Hyper Twister. And this looks like a Giga Coaster as well. Excalibrator. Wow, 11 excitement. So this park then, this would have been built by the game developers. And then um, what, cause what they do is they use it as, as the background image for the intros. Um, and it's just like a little sort of bonus Easter egg. So... There you go, top secret new rights. This is under construction. What is it? It's a corkscrew. There you go. So we've got a, a corkscrew coaster. If you wanted to, you could probably finish that off. Um, just over here. We've got. Here's another corkscrew just over here. Good excitement on that. So there's a lot of coasters in this park. So it's. Um, I suppose, in a way, it would be quite useful for people to to look at to to see how how to build high rated coasters but at the same time to unlock it you have to have completed all the scenarios so by that point you should be able to do it without thinking so um what have we got oh hang on three of these so we've got where's the stations and they're just setting off now. Okay. Oh, that's quite funky. So they all mix together then. That's the point. And then at the end you get white. There's the excitement on them. Good excitement.
Doesn't sync up very well with the block bricks, it's a shame. What else have we got then? Oh, hang on, this is a bit orange, isn't it? The vertical drop coaster. Got excitement on that. The orange is, is a bit intense on this. Lots of orange on that. The train station. If we go over here. Oh, a little tunnel with a uh, funky glass tunnel with, with water, water jets. And what's this? Is that the same? No, it's not the same one. It's another... Oh, the other one was a haunted mansion. This is a ghost train. That's something I've never really bothered with. I don't think we've built any on, on any of the scenarios. Maybe I'll have to have a go at one of these. And now, uh, what's this then? Wow. Powered mine train. Nine excitement. That's huge. Very high excitement. And by the looks of it, we've got a regular mine train. Again, huge excitement on that. Oh, and uh, changes colour, so obviously to reflect the snow at the top. And we've got a little mini golf course as well. Just up here. We have a train station. What's the excitement on there? Good, good excitement on the train. Let's see what else we've got. We've looked at this suspended coaster, I think. Dangle fling. Nice little break area underneath the shelter there. Let's have a look. Where haven't we looked at? Oh, we haven't looked at this wooden coaster. This huge thing by here. That I missed. Something just beeped. Um... Twisty turny thing. Okay. Well, that's an interesting element, but there. Intensity. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Crazy. What else then? Where are, where haven't we seen? We've seen this corner. Um, oh, okay. What's this then? Compact inverted coaster. Good excitement on this. Quite nice theming with the the way the path is and the sort of I presume that's um, block. No, it's not. It's hollow. Oh, I thought it was just earth with scenery on it, but um, okay. And uh, and old cars as well. Good excitement on that. Little suspended coaster. Twister, big blue mini, high excitement, oh it is a bit of a monster isn't it, huge, how many trains, is at least three I've seen, four trains, yeah, a lot of these coasters, we've got uh, mid course brake run, so there's one just by there. That's a high drop. Wow. What have we got over here then? What's this blue thing? Inverted hairpin coaster. Got excitement on that. 
wrote of it a multi-dimensional coaster. These can be quite fiddly to build but um, you can rotate the cars when you're building them. You can tell it what angle you want to be at but it doesn't affect the excitement. Um, so you might as well just use it as a basic winged coaster. Um, what's this a junior coaster is it? Yeah. Got excitement. High lateral G's not bad for a for a junior coaster. Uh, we've seen yeah, we've seen that. Our water rides here. Cool theme in. What's this? Impulsivator. They like that. They like adding Vator on the end of, of rides. Oh, there you go. That's pretty cool. Um, usually people just build um, like shuttles with them, but um, actually a full on, full on coaster. Is that the one I saw? There you go. Uh, what's this purple thing? Oh, no, I haven't built one of these. 3.67. Wow, that's really bad. These are, you can't get good excitement on these. Um, intensity and nausea, yeah. But um, excitement, no. We think of the amount of interactions the rider's got with other rides and underground sections and pathing and all the rest of it, scenery and yet the excitement very very low so what's, ooh, what's this then oh mobius coaster there you go so you can tell because of the ride length you see the slash there and the ride time so you've got two different results so you know that it's a it's a mobius coaster well that's pretty funky This, it looks cool from this angle. Intensity is very high. Guess it's still going on it though. And what's this? Test fright. What coaster was it? Flying coaster. A lot of pumpkins. A lot of pumpkins died to make this ride. Cool paint job. To do the to do the paint job, what you do is you go in um, and then select an alternative click on the, the paintbrush and you just colour it like that. Flashy skulls. What's this here? Oh, it's like a little like a little stadium where lots of paths go in. Going down. Okay. Um what else? What's this? What's this black ride here then? Canyon Runner. Uh, I can't see any inversions on it. It just shoots. It's pretty cool though. Nice, uh, nice interactions with the scenery. Okay, what? Another wooden coaster just over here. Deadly Dipper. Um, what's this? Fusion Force. Just broken down. Oh, that's an air. Oh, that's the air powered we look we saw earlier. Was that's over there? Right. Okay. 3D Cinema. Um, this looks quite cool. The the way they've got the interaction with the ground and 
and the ride on top and the, the slopes and the huge maze I bet there's guests lost in you yeah there you go that's the thing these mazes are so huge and um, I've actually done I tell you what what I have what I've done I haven't released them yet but I've done some some prep work for some videos I'm thinking of, of doing um, based on rides like for example there'll be one where I just put down a load of spiral slides and use all the different settings to try and work out which is the best same with other types of rides and there's one where I've I've done just done a lot of work with the with the mazes just trying to find out if there's like a a better way of doing it I, I don't know what I found is just with the mazes um, you might as well you can build it however you want as intricate as you want but what you should do is just do like a little shortcut through it so so from here it would look like a great maze but in actual fact they're just walking up up here along there down there and out and the guests will love it but, um, yeah so Virginia real big fan of them Six Simon on that breaknet barrels. Eight. Oh, what's this one there? Twister Rosses. Sounds nasty. It's probably some cream for that. Um, cable cars. Another one of these uh, suspended coasters. Good excitement on that. Um, splash boats. Eight excitement. Pretty good. Have a look. Ah, so it goes up there. There's the bend. There's the rest of it then. Five minutes long. Wow. this mini coaster okay what haven't we seen then let's have a look let's zoom out oh hang on what's this we missed that so what's the black one pipe cleaner it's a flawless coaster good excitement on that and then Oh, that's, a, that's, a, that's interesting. So these tubes, are they part waterworks? Let's have a look. Waterworks, yeah, they are part of the, the ride then, but they don't connect to the ride. Um, and then scenery then, the water spout scenery to make it look like it's uh, it's leaking water out of it. That's pretty cool. A lot of work gone into the building this. And a lot of what they call track architecture, where you use track as architecture. Looks pretty cool. We've seen that. Um, oh, hang on. Bobsleigh ride. Got excitement on that. What's this green one? Oh, we've seen that. Car ride. Good excitement on that. Pirate ships. Um, have we seen everything? We've probably. Oh, what's this? over here oh I remember that from the title screen yeah that so, so it's obviously a spiral coaster the spiral gives it gives it away um, so you've got two spiral lift hills interlocking with each other that is cool had wondered when I It is one. What's that called? Proton Collider. Oh, the, it's two different. Right, it's two different coasters then. Okay.
but I'm sure you could have the same effect with with one coaster. Now, this coaster here, the colour scheme is garish, no doubt about it, but the support work does look really cool, I think. Um, yeah, it's just a shame all about the garish colours. But, um, like, this looks cool. Something I haven't really done much is, is play with supports. Um, and that looks cool. I mean, apart from the the colour scheme. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can... That's what we've got. We've got an orange, one of them, and then purple, and then that as well i bet if the colors were if it wasn't orange and purple if it was some colors that that went together well it would look much better but um yeah i think do you know that this this is probably one of the the coolest areas of the park i think you've got the spiral coasters which are quite difficult to build well so you've got two of them interacting really well together and the support work on this looks cool um it's garish yeah but obviously intentionally gearish and uh and then oh you've got this top secret area that we saw earlier as well so we came up we already came over here but obviously we missed we missed this bit there i think i think that's that's pretty much it so we've got the ratings fallen Probably just need to put down some toilets and things. Um, so what's what's the guest favourite then? I'm gonna guess it's the um, the Giga Coaster. Although Twister Osis looks quite high, I'm gonna guess it's the, uh, the Giga Coaster because that was the. No, it's not. That's the second. So Twister Horses. Did we see that one? Where's that then? Oh, there you go, hiding. In plain sight. So this is the guest's favourite then. Let's, let's see why. I can see it's got a launched lift hill. I messed that up. That's not how you do it, is it? Let's try again. Right, that's how you do it. mountain nice large loop back down so the track colors the track changes color depending on where you are in relation to the hill long section underground with boosters by the looks of it
And that was Twister Horses, the most popular ride in the park. Where was the, where's the... So this is the gig coaster then. So right now fast forward a little. Cable lift hill. A lot of airtime hills. Nice interactions with the other rides and scenery. Oh, we're going underground. Little bunny hills. Let's grab a little bit more airtime and back to the station. Okay, so that is the most exciting ride in the park, 11.606. Okay, cool. Oh, hang on. Reverse a ride. I missed that. Decent excitement on that. I think. Have we seen? Yeah, we've seen that one. I think that's pretty much everything. We might have missed one or two, but um, I think we we got the majority of the rides. Quite cool. I mean, it must, this must have taken ages to build. Um, but um, whoever built it was getting paid for it. So, yeah, cool. So this was Tycoon Park then. This is what happens. This is what you unlock when you complete all 95 base scenarios. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start playing through the bonus parks as well. So you've got the Panda World Park, the Six Flags Parks. Um, and then after that, then I'm going to start playing on the expansion packs. Um, once I've done with them, then that's when I can start looking at um, custom scenarios. So if any of you guys out there have made any custom scenarios, let me know. Or if you if you want to start creating some custom scenarios um, with the view of me playing them, then um, that would be great. What I would suggest, though, is for you to um, host them on somewhere so that um, they're easy to for other people to download um, but yeah just just let me know if you've got any and I'll uh, I'll have a look so I am still this was tycoon park this is the the bonus that you get for completing the 95 scenarios if you like the video please like and subscribe and I will see you next time